Hello, my name is Vincent Covello, and in this segment I'd like to share with you information about how to produce a press release, particularly for public health emergencies and crises. Um, I'll be focusing primarily on basic information for producing a press release. Uh, a press release is, uh, and, and this is one of the definitions that you'll find of a press release, it's a short written summation uh, detailing the facts and viewpoints uh, related to a public health crisis or issue. It's written by the uh, organization or organizations involved with or affected by the event. And finally, the uh, primary intended audience of a press release is, in fact, journalists, reporters. Uh, the content of the press release typically covers the five what are called W's and the one H that reporters look for in, in a story. They look for the who, the what, the where, the when, the how, and the why. Uh, the first paragraph of the press release typically uh, has two to three short sentences describing the current situation. Uh, the typical following paragraphs uh, will often have a quote from an official about the issue. It'll describe the actions that are being taken. Uh, it'll also indicate the coordina coordination activities that are taking place uh, in response to the crisis. The um, uh, recommendation is that you use a standardized format for a press release. Uh, it's been used for quite a few years, and uh, reporters are quite familiar with this particular format. Uh, the format starts off with the organization's letterhead or logo. Uh, then at the very top you put press release or news release. I should mention there is some discussion about whether or not, uh, given that now we have a much wider range of media, whether or not we should call it a press release. Sometimes organizations now call it a, a news release. Uh, nonetheless, that goes on the top uh, left or top center. Then you move down two lines and you write for immediate release, and uh, next to that, uh, or immediately below, you put the date of the release. Um, at the end of this presentation, uh, we'll also have a, a mock-up of what a press release looks like. Below that, you would put for immediate release, and then write the word contact or contact information. That's typically done in bold-faced, and you include the public information officer's information, how to contact that person. Uh, below that, you put your headline. Uh, typically, the headline is done in bold, larger font. The first letter of each word is capitalized. Uh, it's brief. Uh, again, this is a headline, so it's no more than two to three lines. Uh, it's best if it's going to be informative and attention-grabbing. Uh, that's typically what the media will be looking for. They are a news business, and therefore they're selling news. And um, if they can get a headline that will attract attention, it'll be a better headline than others. Uh, and finally, there should be uh, it should be clear to the point and should have subheadings. Uh, those would be the subheadings or even the sub uh, headings that you might find in a newspaper article or in a report on the TV. Uh, the two blinds below that are the dateline. Uh, after dateline, the text begins. Uh, typically, the first paragraph begins with a brief statement dealing with who, what, where, when, why, how. It's double-spaced. It's 12-point. Uh, typically, the font is Times New Roman or Arial. Uh, and we try to leave as much as much white space as, white space as possible. The remaining paragraphs of a, para of a press release are, are optional, but they should provide supporting information which would be interest would be of interest to the reader or to the journalist. Uh, the next to the last paragraph typically is very similar to the first paragraph. It should state something like, um, in the very last paragraph, for more information, call or visit our website. Uh, then you would give the web website information. Uh, you also might include a few sentences at the very end about the organization itself, uh, given that main information may not immediately be immediately available uh, to the media and that they would like to know who you are and why you're talking about the issue. And then uh, finally, um, there's these hash marks uh, that appear be below the final paragraph that are centered. That's typically how you would end a press release. Um, if the news or press release goes beyond one page, you would put more or more under the last line and, and write the headline or shortened version of the headline on page two. Um, if possible, you want to try to break up the monotony of, of a press release with short sentences and occasionally longer sentences. Uh, but in general, as a principle, you want to keep it brief. Uh, some guidelines. Uh, you do want to provide facts. This is not an editorial. Um, you want to avoid acronyms, technical language, jargon. Uh, if it's a local event, you might want to indicate the name of the town or city in the headline itself. Um, uh, 
Empathy and caring can carry you a long way in terms of building trust and credibility, but these should be authentic. And finally, you want to check to make sure that what's in your press release um, scores well on what's called a readability test. Microsoft Word, for example, has a readability test. And we're typically looking for sixth to eighth grade as a starting point for a press release. Uh, I should also mention these are just things you might want to keep in mind that a press release uh, is sometimes uh, used in full by the media. Sometimes uh, media will ask for just a summary of the press release. Uh, you want to make sure also that the press release gets the needed clearances or approvals within the organization. And finally, you want to make sure also that you've shared your press release with your partners so that they, are know, they know what you're basically saying about the issue and you can get any type of feedback at that stage. Uh, this is the format for a press release. It shows the example uh, of a, um, in a format, a template uh, process. You can, again, uh, this will be part of the resource materials available to you through the, uh, through the website. Um, if you do want more information about this, I strongly suggest that you go to the uh, Drexel University uh, University Resource Library on Risk and Crisis Communications. Uh, we have a number of resources, including the template as well as um, examples of press releases. So with that in mind, thank you very much.